AOL reduced the anonymized search records of, of 658,000 users over a three-month period to stimulate research into what could be learned from search records. They, they replaced the um, identifying information with, with a unique identifier. Um, so you could still link the, the peoples together. The, uh, so you could tell all the searches carried out by one user, but you didn't know who the user was. Uh, it, it didn't take very long for two journalists to identify user 4417749. Um, she'd searched for people with the last name Arnold. She'd searched for homes sold in Shadow Lake subdivision of Gwinnett County, Georgia, and for pine straw in Lilburn, GA. Um, they tracked her down. She was Thelma Arnold, a widow living in Lilburn in Georgia. And, and they spoke to her, and she said, yes, that's me. I, I, did those, I did those searches. The rest of her searches paint a remarkably detailed and really very poignant, a very sad picture of the life of, of this widow. And AOL were really roundly criticised for, for the violation of privacy. They, they claimed it was a screw-up, that they didn't know that... that Somebody was going to do this in their company, that if they had, they'd have stopped it. They took the data down, but of course it was too late. The internet never forgets. Always worth remembering, the internet never forgets. Several mirror sites had already been set up. There's one. Um, Notsecret.com. You can click on a, a random user uh, and see everything that they search for. You can click on, on the search terms and see everybody else who search for that search term or or you can type in a search term and find everybody who who searched on that and then click on on their uh, individual user number and find everything else that the, the person who searched for that also searched for 